And so good morning, Coventry people again. TI is the UK, around the world, UN establishment and intelligence services. Yeah, in the West Midlands especially. Right, these stalkers, yeah, these COVID abusers, yeah, have to be identified. Yeah, they overspend it all. Yeah, overspend it all intentionally to, to finish people off. Yeah, hoping all different scenarios unfold while they play games with people. So what they're doing to me, yeah, all the evidence is with the mental health administrators they keep calling. Yeah, the social workers, yeah, and the healthcare workers, they keep calling. Yeah, they keep calling the NHS every day. Yeah, because there's, there's someone around here, yeah, with all this equipment, smiling on me 24 hours a day. Yeah, and passing information on if I get a bet on the start playing poker. Yeah, phone up the network, yeah, to either play poker against us. Yeah, or for them to try and win money off the football information. Yeah, so that's why I've named their boyfriends, linked to the, some of the hooligan boys. Yeah, some of these hooligans are police informers. Yeah, the Finbar Brewers, yeah, and the... Yeah, the, the people around Gosser Street, little Arthur, yeah, and the boys that they associate with, yeah, they are, some of them are police informers. Tony Chapman hangs around with hooligans, yeah, he mentioned it at SCS, yeah, so seeing that he's trying to get into the, he's trying to get a career into the government, Tony Chapman is a police informer, hang around with hooligans in Coventry and in Birmingham and, and, and anyone in his network, his age, yeah, yeah, stay away from him, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, we'll do a wide berth from him and cut him from your connections, cut, we cut, cut him off from your social media. Yeah, Tony Chapman is in with mental health administrators. Yeah, and he's trying to take data of anyone he can stitch, frame, or fucking sh shit, shit on. Yeah, that's the rest of everyone else who's associated with Tony Chapman. Ryan Lewis, Ashley Mapp, Tasha Griffin, yeah, Nathan Crane, everyone his age from his generation. Yeah, linked as well to all the SDS boys that he manipulated. Manipulated Matthew Lee, Scott Lee, everyone around his age. Manipulated played Callum Hegarty. Yeah, Tony Chapman is a bona fide police informer and a dirty, disgusting mental health administrator. Yeah, trying to get as much data as possible off, off, off uh, people being targeted. Yeah, so that he can tell stories about them. Yeah, in his career, in the future, when he goes to Australia. Yeah, so everyone in Coventry, target Tony Chapman. Yeah, and, get, yeah, and interrogate him. Yeah, same with Ron Lewis. Same with any mental health administrator. Yeah, he's, he's being drafted in, assigned to me, my mother and my brother. Yeah, let's destroy these mental health administrators who associate with white-collar criminals, with drug dealers, with criminal practicing, dormant association, criminal practicing, armed forces boys, navy boys, linked to Carl Keeble and Dave Leverage, Marvin Davis, Steve Blaney. Yeah, and let's put these stalkers, these illegal practicing, criminal practicing, Cover operators, yeah, who are conspiring with mental health administrators and can, think they can sound record me every time I am taking the mickey and trapping the broken cover operators who've got sound, who sound recording me the second I wake up to the second I fall asleep. And even during then, they're still sound recording to, to listen to my farts, to my burps, yeah, or, or, or any stomach rumbles, yeah, to tell a lie to the mental health administrators, yeah, this day and age. Yeah, there's plenty of homeless people. Yeah, plenty of people. Yeah, around the world in war torn countries, in famine torn countries, where these Coventry stalkers, Coventry wannabe researchers, yeah, and training mental health administrators and sector workers can go and volunteer for free. Yeah, along with Coventry people who've got no employment, who are aiding and abetting, you know, healthcare workers, mental health workers, NHS workers who go out targeting people. Yeah, and between them all, yeah. Yeah, there has to be a big shake-up in Coventry City. Yeah, some of these local people have to go to prison because they ain't got jobs to go to. Yeah, like the Finbar Brewers. Yeah, and the fucking football hooligans and the bo boys who go to boxing clubs. Yeah, and the teenagers and that they're using. Yeah, and so that's why I'm there. That's why I'm exposed. Yeah, they're there. Criminal practicing, bogus, fraudulent. Yeah, profile making because they hang around with fraudsters. They hang around with criminals. Yeah, that's who the sector workers hang around with. Yeah, that's who some of the police officers, the CID, associate with. Yeah, and Simon Tilly, yeah, he's an amateur. Yeah, and yet he's that racist. He wants these hidden case studies research and posters made so they can circulate them around the North East, around Middlesbrough and Newcastle. Yeah, it's how broken this North East is gang is, associating with fraudsters in Coventry and Dorman Association. Yeah, that's the, the, the UK the, the UK Lawns Network, let alone County Lawns Network. Yeah, so that's why Coventry West Midlands Police Force, yeah, 
cut off their supply line. Yeah, cut off their county lines network in the West Midlands. Yeah, to these white collar criminals linked to the Dublin Association and linked to these fucking fraudsters. Yeah, the white criminals of Coventry who go around going after black people. Yeah, so cut off the county lines network. Yeah, watch these hooligans cut off their network. Yeah, and watch their white public the publicans and the nightclub managers they associate they associate associate with and cut off their supply line. Yeah, because yeah, they're trying to stop. Black people from earning money. Yeah, so black people have to rise above them. Yeah, stand up against them. Don't be intimidated by this dumb association and these plastic CFC, FC hooligan boys because a lot of them are police informers. That's how they get by. That's how they live a life for Riley and they not go and do normal occupations. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they make out these stalking researching operations are moral. Yeah, and uh, humane. Yeah, they're not. They've got no hard court warrants, yeah? They've got no authority, yeah, to be around here every day, to be around village streets, around my mother every day, or around my brother every day, yeah? That's why I want Coventry police to close their mental health sectors down in Coventry for the time being, to spend everyone, yeah, who's working in there, yeah, and have a big massive shake-up, yeah, so they never go ever on research and duty ever again, yeah, and destroy their careers. Yeah, so that's what's going on in Coventry, Coventry people, to this very second. And no one believe these mental health administrators, yeah, who, who, who have been assigned to me, to my mother, to my brother. No one believe the human biology. No one believe what they've captured of, of our diets, of our cooking, of our stomachs, yeah, of our bodies, yeah, of our genitals, yeah. Because they're a bunch of dirty motherfuckers who are criminal practising, yeah. That's why they know the criminals, the white collar criminals of Coventry. That's why they know all the fraudsters, yeah. The Dorman Association, yeah, and the hooligans, yeah. It's all a white collar criminal activity, yeah, yeah. And they don't want to be associated, they don't, they, they, don't, they, they don't want to be friends, yeah, or have any black people in their gangs, yeah? So that's why they destroyed Ian Harlan and Ellis Trigger, Coventry people from my generation, yeah? Who were trying to understand what's going on, yeah? And the, yeah, and these DJs, MCs, yeah? Even Ashley Mapp, yeah? They're all part of this gang, yeah? And they've all been transhumans, yeah? To aid and abet the mental health administrators who were, so sh who were in their gang they used to go to school with, yeah? So that's why the mental health administrators in Coventry have been overruled, yeah? You gave all these secrets away because you were bitter, you were angry, you're racist, racially motivated, and uh, because I kept exposing it, yeah, you got it into your heads. Paranoia that you can't lose to a black man, yeah? You, who you labelled, yeah? So that's why they've carried on, yeah? Because they tried to label me, yeah, as someone who doesn't, who, 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 who's got no brain, got no intelligence. Yeah, okay, so because they've done that, yeah? I've had to rise above them, yeah, and yeah, and get deep into who's into who's who in Coventry, yeah, and 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 do my own research, my own investigations without breaking the law, yeah, and knowing who's who, knowing the score, yeah, and so yeah, so that's why the table's been reversed on this Dave Leverage and his doorman gang and his mental health administrators, and and something's going to happen happen to Dave Leverage, just like he asked the question when he was talking to the mental health administrators, to the CID, to the mercenaries, yeah, saying what's going to happen to him, yeah, they were on about me, yeah, and they had it all, yeah, they, they, they thought they had it all masterminded, pre-planned, premeditated, pre-conspired, yeah, they thought they were going to stitch me up via the family court protection, yeah, but it's all backfired on them, so, so what's going to happen, they're all going to get rounded up, they're all going to get investigated, and they're all going to go to prison, yeah, because they've done serious crimes, they're stalking people, yeah, and they're, and they're sitting there static, yeah, I'm under pressure on the people's houses, watching people all day, yeah, and then deleting the videos, yeah, and then lying, lying to it all, yeah, and, uh, and then putting it on the internet to all the local people to laugh at, yeah, this is what they're doing every day, yeah, so that's why these covert operators have to be identified, yeah, they've broke every surveillance monitoring law going, yeah, and they've, yeah, they've got a fetish for voyeurism, yeah, and a fetish, yeah, for using internet streaming technology, having secret websites hidden away from the senior management, yeah, and then passing it on to criminals, yeah, and even associating fucking criminals, yeah, thinking they're going to have the best of both worlds, yeah, they're going to have the criminal world, and they're going to have the government counter world, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you've got to choose one, yeah, you can't have the best, yeah, because then that means you're police informers, yeah, yeah, so that's my evidence, everybody have a good day, enjoy yourselves, yeah, and the uh, TIs across the UK, around the world, yeah, name your local gang. Yeah, they've proved, they've proved the true colours. If they want to sit on cover G, abusing your mind, body and soul, it shows. Yeah, they are, they, they are not men or women. 
yeah, they have been transhumanized into dirty devils, into cowards, yeah, feeding their dirty fetishes for voyeurism, yeah, so that's why they capture people's bodies, yeah, and that's why it's all ever spent, yeah, they've got a disgusting fetish, yeah, for voyeurism and being perverted, yeah, so that's why, yeah, these mental health administrators want to be researchers, they're a danger to Coventry City, they're a danger to Coventry communities, they're a danger to Coventry Town, and they're a danger to UK communities, and they're a danger to worldwide communities, yeah, because we're, yeah, we're, we're, while they're having the evil way, wicked way, with the people they're abusing and capturing, yeah, on COVID-G, yeah? Yeah, they're networking it to like-minded paedophiles, like-minded voyeurs, like-minded abusers, network, yeah, the secret society, that's disgusting, they're networking that to the world, yeah, and networking it to their world associates, yeah, who are on the dark web, yeah? Yeah, so that's what's going on with this with this COVID gang. Yeah, they broke every law going. Yeah, and they have to be and they have to be arrested. And while anyone while we've been making phone calls to the sector workers, yeah, about me, my mother, or my brother, this week, last week, the week before, yeah, it all has to be identified, or investigated. Yeah, and these mental health administrators struck off. Yeah, who accepted the phone calls? Everyone, everybody, have a good day.